go grocery shopping, I wanted to show you one of my favorite, favorite snacks. Siete, grain free. These are cassava blend, cassava flour, cassava starch, avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seed, sea salt, citric acid, and lime oil. These are cleanse friendly. So I do a cleanse. I run all my clients through it. It completely cleans up the gut. I do this cleanse myself at least every year. I'm hopping on a modified version for the rest of September. This soup, this organic soup, lentil and vegetable, was at Walmart for way less expensive than it would be at the fancy health food stores. We got a few kinds. Coconut curry sweet potato, organic lentil vegetable, organic Mediterranean lentil, Tuscany style, so good. Most of them are also cleanse friendly. There's no added sugars, no added crap, no cornstarch. Cornstarch is highly inflammatory. And then for fun snacks that are not allowed on the cleanse, they do have natural sugars. But if you like gummies, like I love things like Jube Jubes. Real Fruit is an okay brand. These are fantastic though. They're expensive, but they're naturally flavored, free from artificially sourced sweeteners, rich in fiber, plant-based, no sugar alcohols, free from artificial colors, gluten-free. They're amazing. They're expensive, in which case you won't eat them as much. And these organic lollipops, it's still sugar, like cane sugar. But aside from cane sugar, there's no other sugars. They are so healthy, gluten-free, egg-free, fish-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, shellfish, so all allergens-free. Just so good. I like the sweet every now and then. Anyway, good morning. So I use this collagen. It is my absolute favorite. They did finally give me a discount code for this that I use myself, but it's Kelly 20. It's absolutely awesome. They make bone broth. They make all kinds of things. I just like a frothed chocolatey goodness in the morning. I used unsweetened silk almond vanilla flavor. And I bought this off Amazon. I put these two in the frother and then I make my coffee. Make sure when you're having coffee that it's organic always. I drink this jumping bean because non-organic coffee is straight chemicals to the body. So if you're gonna have coffee, try not to have caffeine every day, but I will put three quarter cup of this in the frother and one scoop of this. I'll froth that up. Let's do it. Like I said yesterday, we're reading The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer. It is amazing. Bubs will come and cuddle with us. And that's our morning routine. Yeah, I know. You want to sit in your cup holders. Anyway. We read together every single morning for a little while. I highly recommend keeping the phone down. Get yourself a really good book. Make it a life-changing one. There are many, many, many I could go through with you guys that have changed my life. And get yourself a reading buddy, too. This will be our morning for the next little while. Okay, I like to use an all-in-one protein powder, raw and organic. All-in-one is great because then it's got your greens and everything you need that way. I don't really like the texture of protein powders, which I'm sure anyone can relate to. So I will use half a frozen banana in here. Um, that does add some sugar. So if you're on any type of a cleanse in terms of glucose or blood sugar balance, I would definitely use some frozen avocado instead. In order to make powders bioavailable, to your gut so that your gut actually soaks up the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in it. Get yourself a blender that is 1400 watts or higher, so a Vitamix or higher. Mine, this is it. It's from Breville. I don't remember what they call it. It is a badass blender. I make my own protein bars often and I burned out maybe four blenders. This is more expensive, but it will outlive you. So you can put anything in here. I used to use hashtag even blends rocks. Don't try to blend rocks. I don't know if it'll do that, but that's the one that I really, really like. I will again use just half a cup of this and fill the rest with filtered water, half a frozen banana, and that's what we'll do. Usually I like to put a prebiotic. This is the prebiotic that I normally use. I don't have any right now on Amazon, but prebiotics are really good. They're really the food that your good gut bacteria eats. So if you're trying 
to do a flat tummy situation, highly recommend adding prebiotics. The other natural way to get prebiotics in your diet is to just use a wide variety of veggies in your daily diet. Obviously do that. And because it's autumn, we're going to use peanuts. <laughs> Why not? I cannot describe the cuteness of this cat who demands to be swaddled. She loves the wet towel after the shower in the morning. And I don't care that my towel gets covered in cat hair because it's honestly the cutest thing ever. So I will wrap her up like this picture and this picture. She just loves the swaddle. We are getting ready to go to the gym, but I want to make some hard boiled eggs for when we get back. And I thought about how I really want to show you this egg thing. The company's called Dash that I got this from. When you steam eggs, you can use an Instant Pot. It takes a little bit longer and it's arduous to take the whole Instant Pot out and set it up for some eggs. An Instant Pot will fit an entire carton of eggs though, if that's what you want to do. But when you steam eggs, the shell comes right off. What you would do is fill this. There's a little line that says medium, soft, hard, omelet, poached. So you fill to the water line. First, you take the egg and you poke it. There's a little needle in the bottom here. Poke a hole in it, put all the eggs into this thing, and then you pour whatever amount of water you want for whichever. I usually go medium or in between medium and hard. Put the eggs in, lid on, click it into on. It'll do all the work for you. It takes roughly eight minutes to entirely steam the egg. Like I said, shells come right off. It's so easy. Leaving hard-boiled eggs in the fridge is such a perfect thing to do to always have a really healthy snack or part of a meal on the go because an egg is one of the only things nutritionally that is complete protein and healthy fats. We're going to the gym. Most people work out because of weight loss and any weight loss article you read, it's gonna say that high intensity interval training burns the most calories from fat out of any type of workout whatsoever, or any type of exercise. But what they're not telling you is that it will either cause or instigate adrenal fatigue in many people. And 90% of the population out there has adrenal fatigue, which just means too much stress hormone production. And we need our repair system to work in order to use muscle properly to burn fat. Stress hormone is gonna shut that off. And if you you were to do a properly designed heavy lifting resistance training workout should be less than 45 minutes max your body's gonna burn excess fat and calories for up to 72 hours or three days after one session and so I really feel more about doing things smarter not harder so I like to work out at least twice a week because then if you're doing it right your body's gonna burn fat and calories for up to three days between most people are not allowing their bodies to really recover enough and they're just going back to the gym and no pain no gain and meanwhile they're overtraining to the point that their body is thinking it's expending so much that it needs to hang on to fat all of these things a lot of people just miss and they're busting their ass doing all these hit workouts every day and they're getting usually what we call skinny fat and it's just not beneficial and a good amount of lean muscle in your body keeps your insulin functioning properly all of my diabetes type 2 patients that I've ever had in my practice did not not have a solid quality and quantity of lean muscle in their body. It's also one of the top predicators of our longevity. How long we'll live. But you don't even need to do much at the gym to really do this. And so I just wanted to tell you that, well, we're on our way. We're at the local gym upstairs bare bones kind of stuff not fancy don't care it's all we need so really what i do there are seven primal pattern movements that really need to be included in every single workout for it to be a properly functional workout so pushing pulling lunging twisting bending, squatting, and gait. Gait is just walking. I do enough of that, so I'm not gonna bother doing that at the gym. I'm gonna do three sets of each. The first two sets, 75% max effort, meaning you have a couple more reps in the tank, but you stop. And then the third set, you do 100% to failure. You just keep going until you can't do it anymore, and then hold. And every single time I choose a weight, it's gonna be a weight that I can only do a maximum of six to eight repetitions 
per set because that is muscle growth, hypertrophy. Anytime you're doing three sets of 15 kind of thing, you're moving into the endurance zone. You're not gonna build muscle as efficiently. Anything less than six reps, you're moving into the strength zone. And it's just one exercise for each of those seven movements. And then make sure as soon as you get four weeks of consistency of doing this, you change it up. So I'll do another type of exercise for each movement. I always exhaust my biceps first though because they always try to help. So if I'm doing pull downs to get back muscles going my biceps are going to help me do that right so i really want to max those out so that the muscle that i'm really trying to target will be able to function more strongly about that I really wanted to mention. Don't use machines at the gym unless you are rehabbing an injury or you are brand new and you're not sure about form because your brain's really smart. When you're using a machine at the gym, neurologically your brain is aware that you are bolted to the floor. You are safe. Right? So it goes ahead and turns off your whole internal core stabilization structure. And so when we don't have that stabilization structure, that's when we fall and break our hips when we're older or we can't you know, do basic things. We need that structure system. Also, treadmills. I own a really good one. It is amazing and I use it sometimes. Most of my walking will always be done outside because when you're on a treadmill, neurologically, your brain is aware that you should be moving forward in space but you're not and so it gets confused and sends out a backwards muscle recruitment pattern and fine it's not detrimental unless you're trying to train for a marathon you train on the treadmill and then you go try to do the same thing outside it's not gonna happen you won't notice much the odd time though you can tell this because when you're on a treadmill for some time and then you get off the treadmill and you try to walk you get that strange feeling right so just always do your walking outside the body loves burning fat with low intensity steady state cardio aka walking but yeah i thought i would mention use anything that moves in a free range of motion at the gym in terms of resistance so cables dumbbells kettlebells barbells bands things like that you will always get a better workout and you may even find you can't lift as much weight because you're actually working out properly it's lunchtime. I'm just gonna have some hard boiled eggs with some guac that I'm gonna make. So I just smash up avocado, I put some lime juice in, and I found this. Dutch Mill. At a place called the Dutch Mill. It's like a farmer's market type of place that has all those kitschy seasonings and sauces and such. That's hard to say. And I also, when I was doing a really strict cleanse last year, discovered the joy of putting sauerkraut into the guac. It sounds gross, but it's delicious. It's, it's delicious. So I'm gonna make up the plate. I will show you it. And then we're gonna just enjoy lunch. We are going to Toronto this evening to see Kaleo. So that should be fun. We had line dancing opportunities in the middle of the day as well, which I absolutely adore, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I just don't know how much juice I have in me. But anyway. Okay, here's lunch. We got a Zevia Cola, two hard boiled eggs with everything but the bagel seasoning, some straws, three garlic stuffed olives, and some celery to have with this guac. If you don't have guacamole seasoning, you can use everything but the bagel seasoning for that as well. I like to get it from Marshall's or Home Sense, possibly Winners, and somebody else. You ready for some treats? Yeah. She's been waiting patiently on her mat over there. <laughs> Thank you. 
being that we're back from the gym, I want to show you this hot tub that we got because normally when you think hot tub, you think those really expensive, you know, big ass proper hot tubs, but there was a hole in our deck and I guess the previous owners had some sort of hot tub that they took with them. So Darren bought one. It's just an inflatable one and it's amazing. It's absolutely perfect for two people. Normally it's all pretty out here as shown in this photo, but we don't have it all set up right now. Anyway, I highly recommend it. It's super inexpensive. I think it was $700 Canadian-ish. This is what it looks like. It's perfect. I just wanted to show the view from this little tub. It's glorious out here. Cold. It is cold. It's really cold. It is September. Anyway. Hey gang, we are just done getting ready hair and makeup wise. I was live. If you don't know, I go live on TikTok every single time I get ready to go out. We have eyebrows now for better or for worse, but we're gonna go make dinner. We're having another really healthy dinner tonight, enjoying a flair, and we're gonna go to Toronto and see a band. I can't bring you there because obviously you're not allowed to record anything, but I will show you what we're having for dinner tonight. Let's go see what's for dinner. We're getting the air fryer ready. I'm gonna make fries because tonight we are actually having elk steak and homemade French fries, which so good, so much healthier for you. Potato is not bad for you if you're adding healthy fats and complete protein to it. Yellow potatoes always, they have a buttery flavor. I toss them with a little bit of avocado oil, some Himalayan sea salt, some black pepper. I usually add oregano, but we don't have any. And then they go in the air fryer for only about 15 minutes and Darren will barbecue the elk and we're having salad with it because you have to add some kind of veggie complete protein healthy carbs and healthy fats in every single meal I ate the salad it looked like a salad <laughs> it looked like a garden salad this one thinks that we're having something she can eat. These are the fries. They're amazing, so healthy. And this is the elk steak. It's delicious, very low calorie, amazing. Have you ever watched immigration, not immigration, uh, border security shows? I watch YouTube, like that's what I watch. And all of these different shows are on YouTube and I got sucked in, I'm almost late. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this show, but we got sucked into this Australian border security Oh my goodness, you cannot stop watching. <laughs> this is such a waste of time, but how stupid people are sometimes. Gosh, the stuff they try to like smuggle in. It's ridiculous. Like you put things in your bag, it's gonna get x-rayed. You can't hide it or dogs are there and they're gonna smell things. Anyways, I just, if you are looking for some frivolous things to watch, check out Border Security. Make sure you don't have anything to do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Today is a mishmash of, we don't even know what season it is. But I hope you're all having an excellent Sunday, even though you're now watching this later in the coming week. I did not even have time to show you the outfit that I chose because let's talk about girl math for a second. If you understand what I'm saying, let me know below. I have certain pants, these ones, but it's <laughs> in my personal preferences. I want to look, you know, copacetic. There are some tops you can't wear with certain pants and shoes you can't wear with certain tops and coats you can't wear with certain shirts. Anyway, reasons 752 why I don't go out. What? I wore black shoes, black pants and a black shirt. <laughs> I wore a black shirt as well. We chose these high tops, which are white. But white goes with black, right? Can't wear brown and black. <laughs> Not actually this serious, but I still try to do my own preferences. That's the way it goes. But thank you so much for coming along this weekend with me. It was a lot of fun. We had fun and hopefully you had some awesome information that is widely unknown about certain things that are good to eat and why, certain things that are good to do in the gym and why, and some fun as well and some bubs because everyone loves that Zoe. I hope to see you next time. If there's anything you want to know more about, let me know below. We are off to Toronto now and I will see ya in the next one. Have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun doing whatever you do on the weekend. If you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, 
please give it a like. Please hit subscribe. I was looking. I checked out how many viewers versus followers there were on this channel. It was 870 something thousand viewers on this channel. 12,000 subscribers. So to subscribe for a viewer, it's totally free. You don't even get notifications unless you ask for it. You have to hit the bell to get notifications. So if you really wanna know when a video is coming, you can hit the bell of any YouTuber that you really like to watch. But to hit subscribe is totally free, doesn't give you any notifications, and it is massive support for any creator that you like. So I always try to subscribe to people I enjoy watching. Please, please do the same. I would be very grateful. Okay, officially. Bye. <laughs>